Trey Lance, he's got he's got six weeks to do to make some decisions and, and do the right thing. What should he be doing the next six weeks uh, if you were his coach? If you were him, I mean, he should be dug, he should be dug in that playbook. Um, and uh, I mean, if, if he's having those mechanical issues, he should, be, he should be working with the coach and trying to get in, in on those mechanical issues. Those two things. Um, because the make playbook sure, thing, the verbiage is like a new language, right? That's really hard. Yeah, make sure you hydrate, Lance, and uh, <laughs> yeah, don't go, don't go to the desert. Yeah, right. Stay away from Vegas and Palm Springs, and just hang out in Santa Clara. Although it's kind of dry in Santa Clara too, so you want to hydrate. That's true. That's Get true. rest. Yes, make sure. but definitely you got to spend a lot of time learning that verbiage, right? Because he'll hit you with a thirty-word play, and you'll have to visualize it instantly all the routes, the, everything about it. Um, that's tough. It seems like that's the hardest part about joining a new team in the NFL. Right? I think he will. I think he will. Um, all, all indications that he's intelligent and he, that, he, that he he's willing to put the work in. Um, it was interesting. But still, like, learning a new language, that's like immersion. I, I suck at that, and I got good grades. I don't know. It just seems like really hard to be able – you almost have to only speak that. You really have to dedicate yourself yeah, to I, it, right? I, I feel you, man. Like, I yeah. – I, language is one of the things that is, was difficult for me. I took five different languages trying to find, like, trying to find the language that I like. Same problem. I took, same problem. I took, yep. I took Spanish, Spanish, French, Japanese, because I was like, oh yeah, it's different. Maybe, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll latch on to Japanese because it's not a latch. High degree to get difficulty on that one. Um, Swahili. Took, yep. I took, wow. I took, yeah, I took Swahili. Wow. And I'm saying, I think for Trey Lance, a lot of this stuff is. Dude. Swahili, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, you can learn it, and it doesn't mean that he's. I don't even know if smart has anything to do with it. It's, I think, it's a whole immersion thing. You kind of have to. Like, I took French for ever, middle school, high school, college. I can't understand a word when people start talking. It just like it all runs together. But in classes, I could get A's because I could conjugate the verbs. Like that means yeah. anything. You know what I mean? The best thing, the best thing about Swahili is the professor was was um. Uh, he was an ex band member of Shana Na. It was like a band that played in Woodstock. And so, like, we would, wow. he, 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 but he would give us these crazy stories about like Janis Joplin and all this other stuff. That's tight. Yeah. So, I was dropping acid with Janis Joplin this one time. And that's really yeah. cool. Uh, that's really cool. So, Trey, uh, you definitely want to learn this language because that's just going to take time on task and immersion. But the other thing is, you really should be at a throwing guru. Uh, I don't know. You, you probably have some people you trust. Uh, McAvoy, um, Quincy, whatever his face is. Whoever it is, yeah. Whoever it is, he no disrespect. Trust. Yeah, if you, whoever he is, you trust. Whoever you trust, you can yeah go work out, go work out with that guy. And you nothing know? against Coach McAvoy, but you might want to hit up Tom House too because he's got proven results. I'm just saying. I mean, why would yeah. you not? Nick Mullins went there. Why would you not? Right. And and yeah. the other the other what I wanted to bring up is someone asked before in your in your chat. I think not today, but they asked. Uh, how much do these players like really study and really prepare for really prepare for games? Um, and I think it's kind of this falls in line with a little bit because you know, we're talking about Trey Lance's preparation. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to answer that and say uh, I think the really good ones probably a lot. I think for the most part probably a lot. I mean, yeah. I know you had come across information when Kaepernick was here that he wasn't really that type of guy. Like he wasn't really. That's interested. what I heard. That because uh, he lost his job to Gabbard, or, or the coaches were trying to push Gabbard, even though Gabbard freaking sucked. And they would kind of whisper that, like, well, yeah, you know, the playbooks are in these tablets and we can track how much time these players spend in it. And Gabbard spends five times the amount of time that Kaepernick does. And Kaepernick treats this kind of like a nine to five. And it's like, well, okay. Yeah, so but yeah, no, it was, yeah. I can tell you, I can tell you, as a high school coach, like our kids, our kids are watching, they're in, at least the good ones, they're in there, they're, wa they're watching, like, I remember when that one first time I put up um, my best corner on a, on a receiver, like we're texting Saturday night and he's watching, he's watching film like Saturday night after our, the game is over that we just played and like we're getting ready for next week. So um, I think these players, they, they watch, I mean, it's their job, right? Like yeah. it's like they, this is their job. This is their, this is their source of living. Practice is only X amount of time. And then their meetings is only X amount of time. It's, it's incumbent upon them to be at home, or wherever they're comfortable watching film. Like, that's their job. They're getting paid to do that. B Money says, I know this is off topic. How much film should NFL teams watch? And is there such a thing as watching too much film? Actually, it's perfectly on topic. But I think you preceded us. So you you, you predicted it. What do you think? 
it's how it's really how you watch the film, right? It's like mm -hmm. what, are you, what are you looking at? Are you looking at things yeah. relevant to your position. Yeah. Um, are, are you identifying things with the other team? I don't know that you could probably um, ever watch too much film as long as you're you're watching the watching the correct things and getting information out of it. Um, if I were an NFL coach, and I've never coached at any level, and I'm never going to be an NFL coach, but I would honestly do way less competition in the spring and way much much more film work. I mean, let's watch let's watch cut ups of the center of the week one opponent and the right guard and the right tackle. Let's do it. So when you get to training camp, it's not the first time you've seen it. Um, I would do all kind of stuff like that. I think what Yogi Berra said, 90% of the game is mental. I agree with that. And I think it's even more applicable in football than baseball. I played baseball, man. In baseball, you got to know how many outs there are, how many strikes there are. I mean, what more do you got to know? Like what the infield fly rule is, what a force out is. That's about it, dude. Football is like quantum. It's not quantum physics, but it's very complicated. And I always felt that football players are really freaking smart. So, yeah, watch more film, especially it, if it's someone like Kyle Shanahan leading it. I would want to watch that if I were a player. I think the only, the only thing is players assimilate information differently, and some Fair. some players Fair. some players can see things visually and and then assimilate it. Other need to like be in there and, and walk through doing walk action. Through. Yeah, that's um, true. That's the only that's, that's the only true. thing. And you have and remember in football you're having an array of. Of, of players, right? So learn by seeing, learn by doing. Learn a little, sure. little differently. Like, good point. That's a good point. Hunter, thank you, B-Money. Hunter says, at practices, do you see any improvement in QB mechanic training? Because looking at Jimmy from when he got here to now, his mechanics haven't improved, and you can make the argument worse. Nah, man. I'm sorry, but Shane Day and Rich Gangarello aren't exactly the top quarterback coaches in the league. And if you don't believe me, just Wikipedia and look at their freaking – I mean – background I, they've, they've coached a lot of positions they're not necessarily quarterback gurus i'm not exactly sure why kyle can't get a better guy sorry rich sorry shane but someone with more experience and results because i think you're absolutely right it's not like you've seen any of these quarterbacks mechanics refined and improved since they've been here uh i think scangarella is the step seems like he's a step up but we'll see what happens i mean Everything seems like it's really incumbent or it really relies on, on Lance. We'll tell you the story about this stat. It'll tell you about Kyle. It'll tell you about Scangarello. It'll tell you about, like, honestly, really what has, what have those guys had to work with? I mean, yeah, Jimmy, but like, Jimmy, Jimmy's issue is really the decision making, right? Like, and we've, true. you've said there's more. Can you really correct that? Like, a little bit maybe, but like, it's kind of you got it. Or you when all hell breaks loose on the field, what is your instinct? Is it to make it worse, or are you poised? Are you? Yeah. Are you? Yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. not. I'm sorry. When when he did that interception in the Super Bowl, that's kind of just. He's always going to have a couple moments like that every game, and that's why you take the ball out of his hands in big games. That's why Kyle doesn't trust him. I mean, I get it. I do. Matt H says thoughts on Malik Hooker comes with injury history. Yeah, that's my thought. What's your thought? Uh, I like Malik Hooker, but he does have an in he does have an in injury history. Um, yeah, so I guess the price depends on the price. Yeah, I, but the other thing is that people are always like, "Why don't you sign this player? Why don't you sign this player?" Well, there's another side of it. Just because you put a contract in front of a person doesn't mean they're going to sign it. What if Malik Hooker, like is waiting? I believe I can. I'm waiting for an opportunity for me to start. So like, I'm yeah. back. Wait for injuries to happen, and when one team loses their starting safety, I'm going to sign with that team. Same with Justin Houston, Everson Griffin, yada, yada, yada. Makes sense. I'm not just going to sign for the vet minimum in June when guy could get hurt in August and I just should have been patient. Yeah, why am I going to Why am I gonna sign with the Niners now so I can get hurt and then and then they can wave me? Like, I'll just wait. <laughs> I'll wait for the other guy to get hurt. Then I'll come in. <laughs> True, because, I mean, where's getting out about how freaking dangerous 49ers practices are? You definitely don't want to sign with them now. Wait till the till training camp's over. Yeah, I'm Jay Rico says, do we think Jimmy goes down and Trey starts? Will he be able to win games on his own? I mean, I don't I mean, I don't mean winning because he has a good supporting cast. I mean, can you put a team on his back and win as a rookie? Yeah, I, I wouldn't would think so. I would count on it. Big no, Ben didn't do that as a rookie. He was an ancillary player when he went 13 and three his rookie year. Handed yeah. off a ton of times. Yeah, no. don't I wouldn't count on that. No, no, that's not. That. No, he didn't. Even, he wasn't even really that player at North Dakota State. He would throw like 17 passes a game. Ran a lot. Chris says, as per Shanahan, his success is because he's the greatest coach ever. His failures, well, because it's football, man. Oh, and it's Grant's fault. I like that. That's a good, that's a good comment. Pretty much the Kyle Shanahan uh, philosophy of life, which I really respect. If it's if something goes well, he's a genius. If something goes poorly, 
it is what it is.